Hey y'all, Detroit 2015. I got a 69 Mustang Stampede Custom Slam to the Ground Street Machine. I think y'all gonna like it. So let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a look at it. Tim, how are you, brother? Good, Scotty. How are you? Outstanding. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about this hot run. It's a 1969 Mach 1. Um, we've kind of widened it. We actually widened the front inch and a half yeah, wider per side. Yeah, let's start here in the front. What, what changes did you make here? So the front fenders, the bumper, and the balance is all carbon fiber. Uh, the fenders are an inch and a half wider per side. The bumper and lower balance are from Ring Brothers, part of their Dragon kit that we modified right. uh, to kind of change the style. If it's this car a little better, it was actually designed for a 70, so we changed it up quite a bit. Um, is there a big difference between the 70 and 71? A little bit. The 70s don't have the outer headlights. It just has the inner headlights. has little gills on the outside. Right. Uh, you know, we did a, we, we opened the lower grill up, so it's actually got a 68 Camaro lower grill that we cut to modify to make it match the grill at the top. Right. Um, it's got LED headlights in it that were designed for Harley Davidson. Cool. Uh, we took the hood of a 2013, uh, one of the Shelby hoods that uh -huh. I like the style of it, so we made that kind of uh, fit the look of the car because I didn't want something, I didn't want a big cow hood. I wanted something that still looked mean on the right, car and right. fit the opening of the car. And, oh, that fits it well. Thank you. Thank you. Is that carbon fiber too? Uh, no, it's actually all steel. Okay. Yeah. The uh, rockers were hand built to match the lower balance to kind of carry in with the car. The doors, we added pockets that uh, Jonathan Goolsby from Goolsby Customs made the pockets for me and the door handles I got from him. They're a low car product, but we got them before they were available. Right. Uh, we shaved the drip rails and then in the back we took the quarter panels. Uh, we cut them off and 69 had a little vents in the top of them, so we got 70 quarters and we actually stretched them two and a half inches wider per side. So we could fit a stock style back seat with a 345 back tire. And then the so, truck. So let me just get straight. The front is how much wider? Inch and a half per side. And two inches? Two and a half inches per side. Okay, yeah. So five inches? Five inches. Three inches. Yes, sir. Total. But yet it still looks in perspective. It doesn't. I mean, well, it originally it has some shape to it, so we just kind of you know, exaggerated it a little bit. Right. So the rear fender extensions and the trunk lid are carbon. Those are from Ring Brothers. And the lower balance and the bumpers from Ring Brothers also. It was also designed for a 70, which they have a flat, straight up and down tail pan. So we kind of had to mold and modify and make that work. Um, and then we, it originally had exhaust on each side. We got rid of that and did a center exit exhaust. I like that. And then we did an East Bay Muscle Cars gas cap on it. And then we 3D printed the tail lights. Uh, we had the back of the car 3D scan and we 3D printed them because I wanted the 69 lenses usually straight up and down. Right. Uh, I just wanted to recess them in a little bit and still make them look 69. A lot of guys do a 67 tail light and they're kind of a radius light. And I wanted something a little more square and modern uh, that kind of fits the car. And, and did you build this for a client or for your I did. It, I was in partners with a guy named Juan Martinez. Uh, we kind of both went in together. Um, he kind of helped fund the project. He came in and kind of asked us what he could do to help us, and we wanted to build a car. And we built a couple cars for him before, and uh, he just kind of let me run with it and let me do what I wanted to do and never doubted me the whole, whole way. So. That is awesome. Yeah, and then you got like the Boss 302 stripe going there. I did. It's kind of a mix between a 70 and a 69 stripe. I didn't really like either one of the stripes, so uh, I just kind of took my own design on it and ran with it. Yeah, it turned out. Wow, that looks modern. Well, I kind of wanted to keep with the stock uh, 69 style, uh, so we kept the dash the same shape. I didn't want to change too much from the original Mustang look. I still wanted it to look like a Mustang and not a modern car. Right. Um, but I approached the interior guys, which had Compton out of Dallas, or out of Arlington, I'm sorry, Fort Worth area. Um, and the whole car on the chassis has what they call sex bolts. They bolt together, so there's no visible nuts on the car. It's all button head fasteners. Right. So when I had them do the interior, I didn't want any visible stitching in the car. So we hid all the stitching in the car. So you can't see one thread in this car. That's right. Uh, I wanted clean lines, uh, a lot of lines, a lot of sharp lines. Right. Um, I built the cage in the car, and they integrated the cage into the headliner. And yeah, uh, nice job doing that. Yeah, we did, awesome. we did a rear air, rear defrost. Uh, the back seat still folds down to access all the batteries. The rear bar comes out, you pull the grills out, and you can still get the bar out of it. Um, and I like this because that's like it would have been back in the 70s, but it's a little modern. It's dash, how it's enclaved like that. Yeah, it's still original stuff. And then the, the, the dash, like you hit a button here, and this opens up. Oh, BMW no kidding. style. And it's got the air ride controller. And then the car has magnetic ride. So you can add the, you know, turn the ride tech stuff on. Magnetic ride like the Corvette and the Cadillac? Exactly, yeah. Holy yes, sir. smokes. Yeah. Man, I love those gauges. Whose are those? Those are from Dakota Digital. They are uh, their VHX gauges. They're silver face with blue LEDs. They kind of fit the style of the car. Um, a company named Trick Manufacturing, they made the AC vents for me. I kind of wanted I went with the stock style side vents. Right. And then they made the, the center vent and the rear vent for me also. Um, and then it's got Bill Especially pedals, Bill Especially steering wheel. A shifter out of a Ford F-150. 
Is that what that's out of? Yes, sir. And then like the overdrive buttons, what opens the console? Uh, it's the hill descent button, I think is what it is. It's, yeah, that oh, okay. opens the console. That that's, opens that. That is cool, man. Dude, that is awesome. I love them gauges. I love that dash. Very nice. Thank you. Man, that's deep. Yeah, that's keep... my first impression. There's a lot of room in there. <laughs> there is. You know, there's a uh, air. The compressors for the air rod are on each side. Right. The air tank's behind here. Uh, the gas tank's below it. This hides the filler neck. It's also got two 10-inch uh, Alpine speakers in it. Uh, but carrying with a theme of no visible stitching in the trunk. There's a lot of clean lines. Uh, a lot of less is more. That's right. Right. Yeah. Well, and unless you mention it, you don't notice it. But once you do, then it's like, holy smokes, how they put it together like that? Exactly, you know? yeah. It took a lot more time and effort to try to get that figured out. So, And they carried the defrost that matched the front vent, the rear defrost. They carried it through here to kind of you know, give it a nice look. And then this is their the, the upholstery shop's actual logo. Right. Uh, but we wanted to keep all logos off the car and just put the name of the car on it. So I got you. Cool. Holy smokes, bro. What's in there? What's that? John Cossie or something? It's a Cossie-headed, stack-injected, 572 cubic inch big block board. Uh, I ordered the parts from Cossie. They've been very helpful with getting me the correct parts. We had some issues with some uh, electrical problems and stuff that they were more than happy to overnight me the correct parts and get me everything I needed. Uh, Houston Engine Balancing in Houston, they built the motor, Tommy Casales. They did a great job. Uh, we did they dyno it? We did. We didn't run it very high. Right. Um, we didn't want to get it hot. Uh, we paid a guy there to, they, they sanded the whole block down, smoothed it out before we painted it so there's no filler in it. It's all been hand smoothed out. And then they painted it in bright silver because the aluminum I was afraid would tarnish and right. I wanted to give it that look. Uh, billet badges made the, the emblems for the valve covers that say Stampede 572 on it. I like the uh, radiator hose. Yeah, thank you. And that's from Hose Candy. And then the wires are from the Brillman Company. All the visible wires, the alternator wire, the boot was dyed to match the spark plug boots, but all the wires um, were made out of the cloth braid to kind of match the car. Custom made spark plug wire. Yep. Even the battery cables that are from the alternator back is the ones uh, you can't even see. Yep. They match. Yes, sir. And then the suspension, everything is blue down there? It is brushed chrome. Everything on the bottom of the car, all the suspension was from TCI. Right. Uh, of course, it's got the Air Ride from Ride Tech with their, their Select Series shocks. We brushed chrome all the suspension, then we had some CNC covers made to cover the torque armor suspension, to cover the A-arms in the bottom. We painted them silver to match the motor to kind of blend everything together and just clean everything up a little bit. Awesome, dude. You rocked it. I just want to give you all that quick walk around. Man, is that, that car pops, man. You know they talk about cars popping, drawing your attention. That is cool. Right wheel choice, good stance, beautiful color. Magnetic suspension, right? Center exhaust. Are you kidding me? 3D printer taillights. You know? Door handles work. Excuse me, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. right. Now I'm tearing. Now I'm tearing stuff up. Man, that turned out good. Tim, beautiful job, brother. Thank you very much, Scotty. Anybody we need to give a shout out to? Uh, absolutely. One is this guy right here, Randy Borchding from Paint House. He actually Randy, designed the color. Thank you. He designed, You're doing a heck of a job. He designed the color and. Uh, what is that color? It is called Super Blue from Paint House. And the can you get it? Uh, you can buy it directly from Paint House. Okay. Um, which is Paint House Texas. What's your website? PaintHouseTexas.com. Paint cool. Um, he designed the gray for me. He kind of had the blue for another car, but we thought it was fitting for this car. Uh, he didn't paint the car, but he has helped me repair the car, right. and get it to where it needs to be to get here. Uh, TCI suspension, they've been great with helping me with the suspension. Uh, John Cossey, Houston Engine Balancing. Uh, Jason Rushforth made the wheels, Rushforth wheels. Um, my dad, for one, it's uh, me and my dad own the company, Gap Racing. Uh, GapRacingTX.com. Okay. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Gap Racing. You can find us on uh, Instagram at Gap Racing. Um, G-A-P-R-A-C-I-N-G? Yes, sir. G-A-P-R-A-C-I-N-G. Cool. Um, my wife, who is eight and a half months pregnant, who couldn't be here, uh, <laughs> she hadn't killed me yet. So um, there's so many people. Compton Custom Interiors, I think. You know, uh, the Ring Brothers who helped me get the parts that I needed to get. Um, I mean, Rick Stainless Tanks, Rick Valencia with Hockley Auto Glass for getting the glass in there. 
Uh, I know I'm forgetting people. What about guys back at the shop? You got anybody that helped you build the thing? I do. Uh, Josh, Cody, I mean, just everybody at the shop. My dad, uh, Juan Martinez, for believing in me to help let me build the car. Uh, just there's so many people involved that have just been very helpful to let me let me have a lot of my customers that I'm building cars for now right. have had the patience to allow me to, to continue working on this and put their cars in the back burner until I finish this so I got you and then you brought up something good that I want to ask you what size wheels is that thing running it's got 20 by 10s on the front and 20 by 12s in the back a 285 front tire and a 345 back tire awesome Tim you did a great job thank, thank you very you so much, much I appreciate it sir thank you thank you folks what year is it 70 69 69 Mustang, custom, crazy, street machine, Detroit Autorama 2015. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!